So hopefully this is the last project before we leave. Simone started a chain reaction. Living la vida loca, man. Never could have been. How do you make that sexy moment? So hopefully this is the last project before we leave. And last little story on the can and then we out of here. Pretty big boat, very nice. So for the past two weeks we have actually been away from the boat and we've been fixing up this Tag 50 and so I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of the work that we've been stuck into and for those that are interested it's got a sweet ass layout it's one of the cabins so it's full ensuite so one hull one complete hull is one cabin and there's another one on the other side and there's one in the middle but yeah back to what we actually supposed to be doing so there was a hole over there where they had those inspection hatches but they're so small you couldn't access it and we closed off anyways what's inside there there's a whole bunch of holes there that they had a block running through that would run the dagger board that's inside this column. So we closed that off because now the block's over there. There's the access lid and there was some bad work done there. So we feared all of that up, closed that hole, closed that on. There's a small one here and now we've closed, we've closed that one also up. There's one on the side too. So those are closed now and what you do is I stuck in one of those. So we bought a hatch, put the hatch in there looks nice and neat so we just need to paint the inside spray the outsides and it's on both sides of the hole the same the other side is the same so once that's done and then we got the major project which has been keeping us busy is on the outside and let me show you that so the big job is pretty much these areas so these these it's got a rudder uh, blade type rudder system so the the rudder goes into a cassette and then the cassette can get can be removable the whole units removable but the point that I'm coming to is that the securing bracket that was on there before had one point up top and one point at the bottom that's all it had there was nothing in between and then it had just the cassette system that goes in and firstly they weren't lined up secondly there wasn't a decent bush system in there so the rudders and then thirdly the rudders weren't fitting correctly so you had a it wasn't even a weather helm it was just like super stiff steering not enough leading edge on the rudders um so there's quite a bit of work to do so we rebuilt that whole back section there that's all being reinforced with carbon uh, there's a lot of carbon in there and then we built the tube so that has vesconite in there so high loop vesconite we wrapped the the tubes in carbon there's 10 layers of carbon around the tube to form a, a perfect tube for it and then the vesconite's in that sleeve and then we tab that in with eight layers of carbon obviously in a growing sequence so the first tabbing start in the beginning and then they actually end up way out there and then over that there's about we put four layers of of glass so it's e-glass and carbon together and it's freaking solid now when we put the cassettes in you can literally just turn it with one finger now so it's super solid and both the sides first layer of fairing is on we still got to cut that down and then do the do the touch-ups and then we're going to gloss over all of that. The other thing was the dagger boards. So here's the dagger boards in place. We fitted up lifting rings so that you could get these out. Because even though it's high performance and that's solid carbon, these things are freaking heavy. Um, I reckon probably about 250 pounds. So to get them out by hand is very difficult. And then what we did over here, there was a pinhole leak on that side. These are actually encapsulated in a casing. So there's the inner casing and then an outer casing. And it was leaking from the inner casing to the outer casing. And then it was going up into those dodgy holes that, they, that I showed you previously. That they'd made and it was leaking into the boat very slowly, but it was. So now epoxy foam the entire casing. The inner to the outer casing is filled with uh, 250 kilograms. So like 500, 600 pounds per, per cubic meter. Um, so it's got high density epoxy foam which is 100% closed cell and it's hardcore stuff and then um, we've glassed up here and then on the inside we've glassed up all the holes and we've reinforced it so 
They're not gonna break, super strong. She's a big, big lady. Beautiful boat. I don't know if you guys can recall from the previous videos, we did that four stay pin repair. Check at that, holding up like a beast. Check in the back there, there's our uh, organizers that we did. Hardcore organizers, you're never gonna, that's never gonna rip out. That's gonna be there forever. So yeah, just a little overview of the project that we're up to and kind of making the dream happen. Big thanks to the patrons though, you guys make it worthwhile. Thanks so much. Oh shit. Simone started a chain reaction. That's a lot of pigeons. Ricky, we're taking the Sunday off because Ricky's just pooped and he needs a break. So we decided we're going to take our Lady Africa and just go for a boat. Uh, um, we still haven't done our sail sailing gear and stuff because Ricky's working. So. So let's test our motors out more, put some hours on them and just have a good day fishing and swimming and anchoring all by the pier again. So it's gonna be fun. But I can cut chop from the front. Capitano Simon, how goes it? Good. Good. Living la vida loca, man. Me and the cupcake taking it out for a little cruise. Put it on autopilot, Simon autopilot. She steers, I enjoy. I'm joking, the autopilot's there. Getting Simone to get a feel for how she steers and all of that, and letting her feel the swell so that she can feel if she's directly into the swell what it feels like just off the swell kind of let her also get a feel for the boat yeah check out this beautiful day slight little easterly breeze a little bit of chop but other than that it's a pretty day so don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so it lets you know every time we upload an episode and give us a big thumbs up. Adios! Are the sales balanced then? <laughs> Check how balanced we are at the moment. No sales yet, why not? Because you gotta work on other boats. Yeah, Ricky, you have to work on other boats. Let's <laughs> go already. You want me to slow down for it, Rob? I don't reckon. I reckon. Oh, it's baby off. Oh, a little Mac. Oh, oh shame. It's baby so off. small. small out, eh? Crazy. Oh, that orange color is freaking deadly for the shed. I told you to not be a Ricky and Rob were finding out ways they could make the Dodger a ping pong table. like so ready to go to Cape Town already. Everyone leave a comment below telling Ricky we need to go to Cape Town because he, 
he's if not listening to me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We just have to get the things ready for the for the boat because you know South Africa's coast line is not the greatest weather condition wise and uh, so you got to be pretty prepared if you do leave um, so we have to get our all our ducks in a row before we go off to Cape Town so yeah but we're pretty excited everything's coming together nicely and so far we haven't found any problems so it's good but yeah boat work never stops there's always something to do on the boat but just generally get it really safe and prepared if anything has to go wrong we are fully prepared and then we can go So good. Got a little breeze and it's freaking epic day. What an ending to Sunday. And Monday back to work, finish that boat up, and then get our sails up and go sail this baby a little bit, finally. How do you make that sexy motor? We also got to test out our South African flag that was gifted by exclusive printing to fly high on our journey. 